Here we have a new 2024 Toyota Tundra. This one comes in the limited trim level and a crew cab, and then we do get the five and a half foot box with this one. This color is windshield pearl. Love this color, by the way. And then we have black perforated leather interior. Now for the powertrain, we get a 3.4 liter twin turbocharged V6 hybrid engine. That's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And that gets us 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. Now, as we come around to the front end here, we do get LED headlamps along with LED fog lights. Love that look there, just beautiful. And then for the grill here, kind of got that black plastic. I wasn't expecting that on the limited trim, but I mean, it still looks rugged. So I'm gonna let that one slide. And I also like that we have the iForce Max badging, which is what they've dubbed that engine choice there, that hybrid V6. Down here we get 20 inch alloy wheels. Love the look on those, especially with this white. And then the black badging, black mirror caps, and then even the black trim right there just makes it pop, I think. Now we get passive keyless entry on the front doors. And then we have power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors. We can either fold those in, fold them out, or set them to auto. So when you lock the vehicle, they'll fold in. When you unlock it, they'll fold out. Power mirror controls are here, power door locks. We do get one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors. Memory seat functions to set one, just hit set. Hold the number you wanna set it to and to recall it, just press the number without hitting set. Storage pocket there, storage pocket there. Two bottle holders, more storage. We do have Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, so we get those auto high beams there. You can pop the gas cap here. A few other features. And then we do have a manual tilt and telescope and steering wheel. And there's a release for that. Hood release. Here's that power driver seat, two-way power lumbar support. And I love the shape of these. They just, I feel like they hug you, but at the same time, they're super comfortable. They certainly look sporty. Let's go ahead and check out this rear seat room if I'm sitting behind myself. So, I mean, a full-size pickup truck, you'd expect to have enough room to sit behind yourself here. Well, I should, and that's not a problem here. Seat back pockets are on both sides. Bottle holders here, storage, a USB-A and USB-C charge port right in there, and your rear AC vents are right here. Now, the center seat, you can fold that down. Bottle holders here. We get these premium reading lights in the back. And there is the sunroof shade there. And I'm glad they put these here. I can hang several hangers, metal or plastic on this hook here. It seems like it's strong enough to hold a few shirts, maybe a uniform or two. And then plenty of storage in the back seat as well. Well, the back seat door panel for bottles and storage. And you can lift this seat up if you want to, if you need to get to your fuses or whatever, but no under seat storage. Now we do get a lockable gas cap here. So a lot of people might appreciate that. So you can't get in there. Probably one of the few trucks that you can actually do that with. And then nice big exhaust pipe there. And if you need to get to the back, you can just pull this out and you can use this bed step here to get in and then pretty easy to just slide it back up. But we have LED tail lights as well. I love that look there. It just looks so, so futuristic. We have the easy up and down tailgate. No power outlet back here, but no big deal. Take a look underneath the truck real quick. There's a spare there. But I want to give a huge shout out to John Roberts Toyota for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. And then I'm going to give you all a quick look at the window sticker. Just pause anywhere you need to if you want to take a closer look at anything. Crash test ratings are pretty good. At least the NHTSA ratings are. And then all the black accents, black wheels are part of this nightshade package, which I think is a 
pretty good deal for what you get. And then we do have a few other options as well. So we have a sticker price at 67,365. And then to the front passenger seat, I do love that we have the power adjustability like the driver's side, as well as that two-way power lumbar support. Not used to seeing that. And then we have a lockable glove compartment here. Would like to see on this trim level, especially at this price point, an additional storage pocket there, but again, no big deal. Just something that I'd see on a, a Chevy or Ford product, I feel like. But back to the front, it's mostly covered up, but there's that 3.4 twin turbo V6 hybrid setup. But next, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. Let me turn this on. All right, so we do get a nice leather wrap steering wheel here. Nice and big, full feel. There's the horn there. Now to the screen, this is almost like a Tesla style screen. This is a 14 inch display. So we have an, a navigation subscription option we have AM, FM, XM radio, and then we also have Bluetooth audio. And on top of that, we get the wireless CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility. And connect your device, pretty easy to do. Search for devices, it'll show you, blah, blah, blah. And then you have general settings in here if you wanna change your language and units. Turn that automatically off. And then it'll show you, you can go from US to metric, whatever, date, time, so on and so forth. So everything in here, you won't need most of this stuff, but it's just nice to have. Sorry, I got off the screen for a minute. And you can change your levels, sound tuning, all of that too. And then vehicle alerts are there, trip information's here. So again, it's a simple setup, but very, very in depth, the more you go into each menu. Now the sun is coming down, so I apologize for the glare, but we do get dual zone automatic climate controls. We can adjust there. We can unsync by doing that or just sync and unsync hitting that button. We can decide where the airflow is coming from by hitting that mode, that auto, we can toggle on and then turn it off by adjusting the fan speed. And we can cut the whole system off using this off button. Three stage heated cool front seats and then defrosters are here. And then that rear defroster also comes with the side mirror heat and then the ac toggle here cut the vents and then i like this feature this actually turns let's say your passengers are cold in the back but you want to have the air on up front you can use this and it actually cuts off the vents for the back there usb a input volume knob here click that to turn the audio off there traction control toggle hazards automatic brake hold we have an electronic parking brake pull up to engage at the brake press down to disengage trailer brake controllers here storage there and then we do have a shifter for that 10 speed hit the lever pull down reverse neutral drive come over here you can manually shift up or down that way now with your four-wheel drive controls just push pull down for four-wheel high and then pull down for four-wheel low but you will have to shift the vehicle into neutral to get into that 4L. And then here you can toggle between your tow haul modes or your drive modes. So when I put in a tow haul mode, I have two different options there, the tow and then the tow plus. And then when I go to the drive modes, I can go between sport, normal, and eco. All with a twist of this knob here. We have a little stow and go to the well, hidden, I guess, kind of tray that gets you quick access to the center console space, which is pretty huge. USB-A input and a USB-C input. I like they're illuminated there. And then you even have space for change or whatever. And then pull here and you can get to all that additional storage. Now, I'm gonna slide this back. And while that's going back, the sunshade, I'm gonna show you, we do get that power sliding rear window which is a great feature of the Tundra, having that full-size window be able to go up or down there. And then we can tilt, or we can slide that roof back. 
and it goes that far, hit it a second time, goes all the way behind the back glass, which is pretty impressive, I think. And then I can one touch, close it back. Sunglasses holders there. And you can see those premium lights right in here. Garage door transmitter, back to the steering wheel. Blinkers are here. Low beams, auto, off, fog lights, and then high beams and flash there. And then we can also turn those auto high beams on. You'll get an indicator there, and then you don't have to necessarily turn those on. Windshield wiper controls, one time, off, intermittent, low, high. You can adjust your intermittent wiper here, and then pull up here for the front wiper fluid. And you all can't feel this, but the vehicle has cut off and start back up with a hybrid system twice. And all you can really feel is the, the seat shake a little bit. You can barely hear it over the air and whatnot. So that's pretty impressive. Now, volume controls are here. You can go through your gauge cluster functionality right in here using these arrows and then these arrows. And you can hit this as like an enter button or okay button. But voice recognition, Bluetooth, quick shortcuts, and you can see we have tire pressure monitors. And then if you have a trailer, you have different settings for that. And then lane tracing, blind spot monitors, all that can be turned on or off here. And then you just hold in your settings and you can fool with some of that there. So language units, so on and so forth. Now to this side, again, we do get Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, lane tracing system is here. Adaptive cruise there, you can just hold the button while you're turning it on to go to the regular constant speed control. And then gap adjust for that is there. Set the speed, cancel. This mode button goes through your audio sources. These arrows go through your radio stations or, or radio presets or track lists if you have them set up. There's our push button start. Finally, here's our key fob. But next, let's go ahead and take this 2024 Toyota Tundra with the iForce Max engine out of the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this thing, having this twin turbo V6 setup, especially with the, the added torque you get from the the hybrid mode I mean this thing is freaking quick and the sounds you get are fantastic I think some of that is um, generated through the speakers but like the turbo blow off sound and all that I mean whether that's coming from the speakers or not it, it sounds great and I am in the sport mode now and I mean it's just ugh. You just put your foot down a little bit and it starts pulling, boy. It pulls hard. And I think it's great to have this set up because reliability wise, I can't really tell you any of that. I mean, I had a, I have had two V8 Tundras. I still have one now. I sold one with about 230,000 on it. And I think that guy's still driving it around and, um, then I have one now that has almost 210,000 miles on it, which is an older body style one. So the first one I had had a 5.7 in it, and this one I have now has a 4.7. And reliability wise, we don't know how this twin turbo V6, especially with a hybrid setup, will hold. But I will tell you, this thing is quicker. It at least feels much quicker than both of my V8 trucks. And much more fun to drive. But then on top of that, I'm getting 19 miles per gallon in the city, 22 on the highway. And I was probably getting around 13, 14 miles per gallon city on my new body style Tundra. And then on my old one I have now, I'm probably getting about 11 or 12. Cause I have uh, off-road tires on there, a lot of aftermarket stuff on there. But I mean, just being able to be in something like this where it's not overly loud with a traditional V8, but it just, it has its moments when you wanna put your foot into it. And the, the ride is definitely much more comfortable in my opinion. 
Then I'm gonna take it out of sport mode and we're gonna see how things change. I already felt it downshift in normal, but here in this eco mode, where that just kind of limits you from burning through the, the transmission. But if you put your foot down, it'll still pull from the turbo and the electric motor, excuse me. But I think it's cool because I love having these meters here because I'm gonna put it back in a sport to show you. It shows you when the battery is being used and then it also shows you when the turbos are putting down PSI. So I get that torque from the battery instantly and then the turbos kick in and you can see that kind of spool up. So <laughs> I could do this all day, just kind of hit it. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Now for this price point, you're pretty much getting to I want to say around the F-150 Lariat, the LTZ Silverado 1500, heck, even a, a Sierra Denali. But this has quite a few features that you won't get for that money, especially the safety suite here. I think Copilot is an additional, Copilot 360, I should say, is an extra package you have to buy on the Fords and then with Chevy is just GM you have a confidence package one and a confidence package two and then this that and the other and then you still might not have freaking adaptive cruise control but this just having the standard safety sense Toyota was so smart with this because I know when I get behind the wheel of one of these I'm gonna have lane tracing I'm gonna have my radar cruise control I don't have to worry about paying extra money for any of that But I mean, this thing, gosh, it's just, it sounds so good. I've got to put it into sport mode. I'm not going to thrash it, but I'm going to give it some pull here as I get on the interstate. I mean, it's just seamless. crazy power here. So we're gonna turn on everything here, radar cruise, make sure the lane centering is on. And then we have the whole suite doing its thing now. And I believe this thing, it always, whenever I get in one of these, someone, I don't know if that's how it comes stock or whatever, but the the lane tracing isn't on, or the lane center, there it is. So now that's on, lane centering, radar cruise control, you just can't, you can't beat that on this full size pickup truck. You have the hybrid V6 as well, a twin turbocharged hybrid V6. This is just one of my favorite setups, just in a full size pickup. And wind noise is so minimal, it's crazy. And same with road noise, you really, are hearing the engine more than anything and look how low the rpms are in sport mode i put in the eco mode with this 10 speed automatic this is where you start to see 22 miles per gallon highway driving like this just very impressed now again compared to the competition you're missing certain things but you gain quite a bit so I definitely have no complaints about this truck. I mean, it looks good, it drives well, has so many standard safety features. And then this big screen here was a nice touch by Toyota throwing this in here. But I wanna give one more big thank you to John Roberts Toyota for allowing me to review this Tundra today. I'll leave a link below to the truck in the description. But I mean, this thing is just, it's a bad truck. But with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Toyota Tundra in the limited trim level.